don't want to give up on this thing anytime soon. I'm dedicated. I'm committed. And yes, I'm working on a ton of stuff, but I'm committed to this podcast and I'm not going anywhere. And you have my word on that. Well, that was very difficult to listen to. You know, that podcast was recorded back in June and it's crazy to think just where my mind was at back in June and to think like where I'm at right now in November, by the way, welcome back to the Gary Cantrell podcast for now. I say for now, because the truth is I don't know exactly what I want to do when it comes to the audio space. You see, I feel like my mind changes constantly. And if my track record is indicative of anything, you know, I tend to start something and then I quit. Much like my old podcasts back in the day or radio shows, whatever you want to call them. I just simply walked away. And for what? Because it gets too hard? Because I feel like after as many years as I've been creating, maybe I feel like I should be farther along than I am when it really comes down to it. These are tough pills to swallow. Much like anything we do in life, it takes a lot of time. And there are many periods or seasons of your life where you're fully wrapped up and committed into things. And then just like summer into fall, fall into winter, winter into spring, spring into summer, the season changes. And sometimes the things that you're into doing also change. I wrapped up this podcast back in August. I did that other podcast back in June where I said, three years, I'm not going anywhere. Blah, 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 blah. And by August, it was already over. Now, to be fair, I had another idea in mind by the time we got to that end, you know, I'm doing this YouTube channel with my cousin and I decided that, Hey, we can, uh, we can do a new podcast. I'll talk about the, uh, the journey of building a YouTube channel. And much like a lot of things in my life, I got overwhelmed and A month after announcing that, I proceeded to do four episodes, which were very sporadic. It was a podcast that was to be titled My Journey from Zero. I even released a couple of them. I changed the name of the feed. I updated the artwork. I went on and told all of you that I was quitting this podcast to start up this brand new one. The point I'm trying to make here is I did not follow through on what I advertised. And it's been eating away at me for several weeks. When was the last My Journey from Zero, by the way? What was it, like a month ago? I started to think to myself, hey, maybe I'll just start up a new podcast where I can come on and talk about whatever's in my head. And then I was like, oh yeah, wait a minute. That's the Gary Cantrell podcast. So I was like, I could start up something brand new and invite people along. But what really good is that going to do? What's that going to do for me? Because here I was in June telling all of you that I'm not going anywhere. By the end of August, early September, I'm telling you that in fact, everything's changing And here I am on the 1st of December telling you that it's changing again. At this point, 
There's a lot of internal frustration, but rather than mask it, rather than run from it, I've decided to hit it head on. Fire up the microphone, turn on the camera, and here we are. I wish that things went differently. I wish that I could have just kept doing the podcast, but in my mind, I feel like I had already kind of peaked with that podcast. I was creatively bankrupt, and while I was enjoying listening to the stories of others, the process behind the scenes of getting these things together really kind of brought me to a breaking point. And this is things that I've discussed on other podcasts before. So you can just go to any of my back catalog. I've kept it up there and you can listen for yourself. Kind of some of the struggles as I've just slowly, but surely let out kind of what's on my mind. But today we're really letting it out because I just, I can't do this anymore. I can't keep running and trying to put band-aids on things when they just got to be fixed. I can't just make a rash decision that I'm going to up and turn the whole podcast into something completely different and then go through all the trouble to put it together only to do four episodes and then I'm right back where I started. It's certainly not fair to the people that are subscribed to this podcast. And you know what? To be truthful, if I never said anything, you would never know any of this. And you maybe you wouldn't even give a shit. And that's fine. It's totally fine. But I just feel like I got to come on here and just share it. The struggle, the mental struggle behind all of this. Because the reality of it is, It's been screwing me up for a long time. I started this podcast three years ago. And over the course of that three years, it shaped into something. And at the end of it, I didn't like where it put me. I didn't like the person that it made me become where I was just kind of on autopilot for so long. You know, like I'm enjoying the conversation with the others, but in reality, I'm just like, all right, I got to record this. I got to. I got to upload it and I got to put it out there. I'm working a month, two months ahead just to try to keep the content train rolling, baby. And what good does all that do? It did nothing but burn me out. And for like a solid month, I didn't even want to come on to a microphone and talk at all. Today, all of this changes. It has to change. I have no choice. I got to make a change because the reality of it is if I don't, I'm ultimately going to crash and burn. That's it. I'm going to crash and I'm going to burn. And then there'll be no podcast. It'll start stressing me out on my other things like the YouTube channel I'm doing, which I'm having a lot of fun with. I'm having a lot of fun with that. It almost feels like there's no stress. We sit in the car, we turn on the cameras, and we do our thing. It almost feels effortless. But then it has me feeling like, why can't I do that here on the podcast? Why? Why did I let this become such a stressful thing? Why did I let it put me into like this robotic thing where I'm just like just cranking out episodes so that I could compare myself to others so that I could, you know, try to keep up with everyone else? Screw all that, man. I got to do this for me. I got to do this because I want to do this. It's just like anything in our lives that we want to do. We have to do it for ourselves. We have to do it if we believe in it in our heart. I believed in this podcast when I started it. And for the years to follow, I believed. But I just lost my way. That's the truth. And so here I am, meeting it head on. 
Now, you might ask yourself, if I decide to continue to listen to this podcast, what on earth could I possibly expect from such a podcast? You want the truth? I don't know. I'll tell you how I envision it in my mind. It's that when I feel compelled to speak on it, I'll speak on it. When I got somebody that I want to talk to, we'll talk. But I feel like those days of like just pushing myself week after week after week, why? Why do that anymore? Because again, it's like, you know, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, oh, I wish I should be farther along. I should be farther along. Others come along, they leapfrog you, they keep going. And you know what the real problem in all of this is? Me. Got to get out of my own way. I got to find the love for the podcast again. I got to find that passion that I once had for this to where I can come on here and have fun with it. Make no mistake about it. This podcast will be back. But much like the last two months or so, it's just been on kind of a break. I tried to put something else in there and just wasn't feeling it. So it's been on a break, but it's back as the Gary Cantrell podcast now. And when I figure out what it is, I will let you know. When I figure out what my plan is with it, I will let you know. You know, Larry and I have talked about doing a podcast, which I don't think is going to be this podcast. I don't want to say for certainty it won't be. That may be what it is. It may be that Larry and I end up taking over this feed and we do something together. That's a possibility. Or it will be separate. I think it should be separate because there are times when I feel like I want to come on here and talk and I should be able to do that. It's my podcast. So I think that will be separate, but I have thought about it. I thought maybe the two of us together would just start a podcast and take over this feed. But I don't think that's where we're going. I've been doing a lot of Facebook lives lately. And I have been really enjoying those a lot. So maybe the audio of that can somehow become a podcast. And when I have something to say, I can do it in a live context. And that'll be the purpose of it. Again, I don't know for certain. But I'm going to figure it out. I'll say this in closing. If you've ever listened to this podcast, thank you. If you've ever shared this podcast, thank you. And if you've been sticking with me through all of this, as I've just changed my mind and done this and that, thank you. A lot of times I think in my head that who gives a shit what I think? Who gives a shit what I have to say? And I know that it's not true. There are people that enjoy listening or watching what I put out and I need to be more aware of that and I try to be and so if you've ever come across one of these podcasts or videos and you you enjoy it you followed you commented subscribed whatever it is just thank you let me figure out what this is gonna be and I'll get back to you and that is truthfully the best I can do right now. 